Hi, I'm Teacher Vega. In this video, I'll show you how to schedule a meeting or your online classes in Google Meet in advance using Google Calendar. This will be very helpful if you have classes one after another. Hindi mo na kailangan gumawa ng meeting code every single day for each of your class, which can save you a lot of time. Your students also won't have to wait for you to create a code. Pwede na silang maunang pumasok sa meeting and just wait for you to be there. Here's how. First, open your Google Calendar. You may access it by entering calendar.google.com in the address bar or look for the app in the nine dot menu here. Once it's open, you can already schedule a meeting by clicking the create button here. May ginawa ako dito ang sample schedule using my Google Keep. So let's say I have a class schedule like this. Let's create meetings for my math class. Add the name of your meeting here. By the way, kung ano yung title na nilagay mo dito, ganun din yung title ng link na makikita ng students mo when they open their Google Meet, which I'll show you later. So if you have a class code, you can set that as your event title. So I'll just type here math 6A. Click this to set the date and day of your first meeting. So for example, tomorrow, September 7, that's Monday. And then select here. Yung start time ng class mo, which is 8 a.m. And the end time. So by default, this will be a one-hour event. But if you have an odd number of minutes for your class like this, 50 minutes, just type here that time your meeting will end. Now, the tricky part is this. When you choose the recurrence here, it will be a never-ending meeting it will forever be in your calendar so you have to choose custom because definitely this school year will end set here how often you meet your students with our sample class schedule here we meet every mwf repeat every one week two weeks kapag every other week lang kayo magmi meet and so on Next, let us set when this meeting shall end. If you have your school calendar available already, you may set here the exact date when your school's school year will end. Let's say until June 2021. Pwede mo select dito June 2021. But for this tutorial, I'll just select the end of September. And if you have a specific number of sessions for your class or online course, you may enter it here instead of setting the last day of your classes for example meron ka lang 12 sessions for your online course pwede mo ilagay dito after 12 occurrences balik natin sa end of september and then click done next let's add a google meet link here this will automatically create a code for your meeting let's click more options for other meeting details now, it is important that you have a list of your students' Google accounts or email addresses so that you can add them here. Whoever you add here will see an automated link to your virtual class in their Google Meet homepage. Meaning, hindi mo na kailangang mag-send ng meeting code or link. Automatic na siya. Pag binuksan nila yung Google Meet, pipindutin na lang yung link. This event will also be visible to your students' own Google calendars. Basta nilagay ninyo yung email nila dito. So, I'll just enter here my other email. Now, since you are sharing this event with your students, you may want to restrict them from changing the details of this meeting and from inviting other students who are not members of your class. And to do that, you have to uncheck the permissions here, modify event, and invite others it's up to you if you want them to see your invite list here or not now to the left there's no need to add a location since this is a virtual meeting only here you may customize what time you and your students will get notifications it's basically telling your students hey we will begin in 15 minutes so get ready <laughs> You and your students can be notified either in your mobile devices if you have Google Calendar downloaded there or in your computer. You may turn on your calendar notification by clicking the lock button here. Then select allow in the notifications. So there. Personally, I want to get notified 15 minutes before my online tutorials since I have one session after another. 
now we will not tackle this part anymore because this is a bit advanced perhaps i'll create a separate video about this let me know in the comment section below if you're interested to know more about these you're already good to go with these default settings here you may customize the description part and the attachments later after you create this meeting so that it will be different for each session pwede kayong mag upload ng lecture presentation nyo dito in advance but you do that after you create this meeting kasi iba yung presentation ninyo sa monday iba naman yung presentation on wednesday and on friday so wala ka munang ilalagay dito now double check your meeting details and the email addresses that you entered here then click save Google Calendar will ask you if you would like to send invitation emails to your students. It's up to you if you'd like to send invites or not. Now, this event will be visible to your students' calendar as well. Since this is yet to take place, bukas pa, we won't be able to see the link in Google Meet right now. So for the sake of this video, I'll just move this event to today so that we'll be able to see the link in Google Meet. I'll select week view para ma change din yung time and then click and drag this event this event only there now let's check google meet yeah so this is what you and your students will see when you open your google meet this link will be available at the beginning of the day and will expire after the event period by the way, just for an additional information, what we did also created a specific code or the same code for it, for the entire recurring event. So kung ano yung meeting code netong una, which is BVB, CEW, yun din yung code sa iba pang meeting. So just in case your student wasn't able to see a link in his or her Google Meet, you may send this code to him or her. You can also create meeting here without entering email addresses if you want to create a code only in advance. It's up to you how to use it. Like and share this video with your co-teachers if you find this informative. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more edtech videos like this. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.